Vikings. Young Cam. Hello and welcome to our preview of the very first Korean Grand Prix with Castrol Driver Rankings. Now, it's going to be held at a place called Yongam. We don't know very much about that. We don't know a lot about the circuit. It's designed by Herman Tilke. But what's it going to be like? Well, we're going to show you. We're also going to have a look at the Castrol Driver Rankings, the latest positions. But first of all, let's catch up with the latest news. Just three races to go, Red Bull's Mark Webber is currently favoured with his teammate Sebastian Vettel and Ferrari's Fernando Alonso both in with a shout. Is it all over for the Brits? McLaren boss Martin Whitmarsh reckons just one slip by those three could turn everything on its head. Lewis Hamilton won't face another grid penalty at Korea this weekend if his gearbox goes wrong again. Regulations state a driver cannot be penalised twice for the same gearbox issue. As the season builds to a climax, F1 supremo Bernie Eggleston has said team bosses should concentrate on building better cars rather than worrying about rule changes. And from the Gossip Garage, Felipe Massa has thanked Ferrari boss Luca de Montezemolo for his support after rumours of a split emerged in Japan. And Virgin Racing, the subject of much speculation about their involvement next season, have confirmed that all is going well for 2011. Yongam, which is where the circuit is, is about 400 kilometres south of Seoul in the southern part of Korea. Formula One is sort of going east all the time and uh, that's why it's in Korea this year. And Yongam is certainly a very interesting circuit. It's obviously right up to the minute in terms of facilities. It's part permanent and it's part temporary. And the temporary part is the section along the harbour side and eventually the spectators from the promenade and the hotels and the yachts are going to be able to watch the race from there. Very interesting circuit. And the Indian driver Karun Shandok, who normally drives for Hispania, has been out there to try the circuit in a Red Bull car. And this is what it looked like. Okay, so here we are at the new Korean International Circuit, going down the start-finish straight with a huge grandstand on the left-hand side, braking for turn one, a little bit bumpy there into a second gear left-hander. It opens up on the exit though and uh, turn two is actually, in a Formula One car, is going to be pretty easily flat without really much of a problem. And that leads onto this long, long straight down to turn three, which is 1.2 kilometers in length, I'm told. It doesn't feel that long because the Formula One car obviously is going very, very quick. You've got walls on both sides which does make it feel quick as well. You go up and down a couple of bridges, finally coming downhill under braking for turn three, a tight right-hander which will again be second gear. Going up the gears again now past the support paddock where in the future I'm sure we'll see GP2 races and another support series coming up to a second gear left-hander which starts off the sequence of corners which makes you basically turn left, right, left, right, left, right all the way back to the start finish line. Second gear through turn four, bring it back across, turn right into turn five, square it off for turn six and get hard on the power to accelerate uphill now through this left kink before you plunge downhill into turn seven. This is going to be a great challenge for the drivers. Probably going to be fifth gear as you plunge downhill and then turn left through turn eight, which should be easily flat and then maybe down a gear again, back to fifth gear for uh, turn nine. Could come up back across the left hand side now hard on the brakes down to second maybe even first gear for turn 10 it's really really tight tighter than you'd expect before accelerating up towards the daunting banked turn 11. you can't really make out the banking on television but when you're in the car it's got quite a bit of camber which brings the front end of the car back into the corner turning right through 12 very tricky corner off camber the back end of the car wants to slide all the time through 13 which is going to be third maybe fourth gear in qualifying Short shoot down to 14, back to third gear again, although you would have gone up to fifth. Hard on the brakes, down coming into turn 15 and 16. Slow, slow, second, maybe even first gear corners. Massive bump at the apex of 16 before you accelerate out through the walls again. Easily flat, I would imagine, in a Formula 1 car. Turn 17 and onto the start finish straight to close the lap. He's okay, um, he's a bit inconsistent, but he's had a few good finishes. Yeah, he's good, he's got talent. He's German and he's done very well for driving for an Indian team. That's Adrian Sutil they're talking about, of course. 26-year-old German of Uruguayan extraction. 
His father was a very famous Uruguayan orchestra leader, and Adrian is an extremely talented pianist. Suter is not terribly well known by Formula One fans because he hasn't until this year had the best opportunity to display his talent, of which he has got a great deal. In all his Formula One career, he's been with what was the Jordan team. First of all, it, it was Midland, then it became Spiker, and now it's Force India, and Adrian Sutil has driven for all of them. He's very, very quick indeed, and it's only a matter of time before he gets on the podium. But now, let's have a look at the Castrol driver rankings. Thanks, Murray. So Adrian Sutil checks in at number 39. Will Power from IndyCar and Jimmy Johnson from NASCAR have swapped places in the middle of the top 10. And Sebastian Vettel stays top, but only by dint of his win in Japan in the last Grand Prix. Mark Webber continues to challenge, both on the track and on the driver rankings. I can't tell you about my favourite career in Grand Prix because there hasn't been one, so this year is going to be my favourite. With no past data to go on, it's impossible to make a sensible forecast about what's likely to happen in Korea. It could be anybody's race. We'll just have to wait and see. And for more information, go to castrodriverrankings.com.